Um, so you guys didn't do um, SCM at all in anatomy? No? No. no. Okay, where does it attach to? Does anybody know? Cervical, cleidoid, mass. And then the... I'm sorry. 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 at the mastoid process. Mastoid process. Originally, it's the cervical. And where does it go to? Your rib? No, it comes across like this. Yes. Your sternum. Manubrium and... Clavicle. Clavicle, perfect. All right, so... What, what is the action for? Contralateral rotation. Bilateral. Contralateral Bilateral rotation. And bilateral. So the, 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 the line is like this, right? So we could kind of see it. Let's see if I can just go like this. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to have her um, lift her head up. So you see it? Yes. Popping out. So, so it's, this goes from here all the way down to the manubrium, right? But there's all, right behind it, um, right behind it is the clavicular part. So if this, oh, there's two heads too. yeah, the sternal head and then the clavicular head goes straight down to the, the clavicle right here. So <coughs> um, relax your head. Um, you could actually pinch it. So start starting from here, from the mastoid process. You could actually pinch it. You see that? And that. So sometimes. When I do like, uh, which side is their painful side? Right side or left side? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hers is on fire. Um, sometimes when you do like ischemic pressure release or trigger point, sometimes you could do, or even strain canister, you could pinch the muscle, shorten it, or you could just keep it like this if you're doing ischemic pressure. Why would you want to do release the SCM for um, headaches or like what would be? A, a lot of times, you know, people do funny things to their necks. Like, uh, for example, like um, my uh, secretary right now, she answers the phone and she like multitasks and she like goes like this all day, oh, right? Okay. So um, it's actually just aggravated over time and then I have to yell at her every hour because she keeps going back to it, right? So um, I actually got her a headset for Christmas. <laughs> but um, cause it bothers me more that she does it than her doing it. <laughs> it just kills me. Okay, so that's the um, really diagonal um, sternal head. Sorry. We're going to go for the clavicular head. So it's going to go right behind it. You're going to have her kind of just let, gently rotate and lift very gently. And you see, you see my fingers pop out and relax again. So gently bring your head up. You see yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Re relax, do it again. You see it just goes straight into the clavicle. So the line of force, instead of going like this, it goes down a little bit. Um, you guys haven't uh, done the first rib yet, right? Mm -hmm. So the first rib can be accessed in front here. So let's say this is the SC joint. We know the SC joint, right? Mm -hmm. Straight down, yeah, that's going to be the first rib. But the first rib kind of goes around like this to the spine, right? <coughs> First thoracic vertebrae. So um, you could get the back part of it right, I can't even like get into it because her muscles are so tense. Uh, I'm gonna go down here behind the clavicle, right really close, this is the SC joint, I'm gonna go lateral, and I'm gonna go down. Are you following the clavicle up? I'm gonna follow the clavicle laterally. Yes. So laterally, and then down, you have to like push. Um, so if you actually look at my fingers, which of, which of my fingers? Middle. Middle. <laughs> but which one is sinking down more? The left. The left one is clearly sinking down more. Her right scaling is definitely uh, up more. So what happens, you're gonna learn in like MS2 that the scalings, when, when they're always like tight, um, they could actually lift up the, the first rib. So she has an elevated first rib here. Mm. You, you guys see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see like how my, my, I'm on the same exact point, right, but my right, my right hand is on there more. Um, so how many heads does a scaling have? Three. 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 Um, what are they? Three. Yeah. Is there any, anything significant going on that goes through the scalene? Yes. Brachial plexus. Where does it go through? Anterior and middle. Anterior and middle. So what happens when, do you ever have any numbness and tingling down your hands? 
No. Okay. Sometimes people do. Um, so what's happening? Scaling. Yeah, scaling could definitely um, compress the brachial plexus and give you symptoms down your arm. Okay. So let's start with the first one. Um, so the scalings um, are attached from the transverse processes, uh, and the anterior one is going to the to uh, so the SEM goes like this, right? The um, scaling kind of go like this, okay? Um, so the anterior is um, pointing laterally, but you know it's it's closer to medial than lateral. So we're gonna go from the transverse processes of um, the cervical spine, and we're gonna go down towards the first rib. Or you could go from the first rib, you're gonna feel a bump right here, and you're gonna feel this muscle right here. It's like a ropey, her scalene is definitely, she could definitely benefit from a release on her scalene. The next one is the middle. <laughs> the middle one kinda goes like this, towards the armpit. Um, and still attached to where? Still first. Or still, still first. Still first rib. So we're going to go from the transverse processes. And, you know, it's still, I mean, this still hurts, right? Yes. Yes. You're going to have to feel for it on your own. And then uh, posterior, second rib. Transverse processes. And then it almost goes just uh, lateral. Okay, so we're gonna go lateral. Dr. Formasano is gonna show you guys levator scap. Levator scap is right around this region. So how can we differentiate the two? Elevator scap. Okay, so if this, if I have you shrug up your shoulders, shrug. Okay, I feel turning. On, I feel turning on. So what? What am I on? Levator. Levator, right? What about here? Then you'd be posterior. Yeah. What cue what would I give? Oh, you didn't do um, mechanics of ventilation. Is it protrusion? Inhalation. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Breathe in. Yeah. Yep. So, um, so if I'm on a scalene, um, shrug up your shoulders. I don't feel anything turning on here. Take a deep breath. Yeah. So you feel that turning on. Okay. So let's do the SEM and the scalenes. And then we'll move on to a bunch of other stuff after. Let me see. Uh, come on back. Right. 